Hey guys, it's late at night. I just got done building this uh, OCC chopper bike, which was a really cool project. And hopefully you can get something from uh, my experience with this. It was really fun to build. And a guy brought me this uh, bike here. He got from a pawn shop, I guess. This OCC bike. Yeah, Schwinn, Stingray, and um, then he bought this kit. He's been planning to do this for about a year, so I built him. And but this is my first time doing the chopper OCC style. And it was pretty cool. It was really fun. Just trying to figure things out. I had to get some assistance here, I'm trying to figure out how to get the chain to clear everything. Cause you got the the brake arms there, and that cable going through, um, and this linkage coming out here for the brakes, trying to have the chain clear that, but uh, trying to figure out where to put that idler roller, and uh, ended up mounting right here, and having the chain come around. I've ridden it around probably three or four miles now after the build, and it's, uh, it's going pretty good. Also had to cut chop the uh, fender there to get it to clear the chain and this little uh, it's not a swash plate my helicopter days but uh, the rubber squeezy plates that you put on they went on real well and uh, the hub of that wheel was centered almost perfectly already right around the sprocket so when you put it on um, it just lines right up pretty much and uh, the uh, bolts barely fit through there around the uh, um, the base of the hub where the sprockets come and meet the base of the hub there so uh, but they went in they went in very straight too all of them and I made sure, you know, because this is one of the more critical uh, parts of the any bike build, putting an engine on it, is to, uh, what I do is I just do one, two, three, four, up to nine, and a cross hatch, you know, back and forth pattern, so I can keep track of the ones that I tighten, what's next, rotate the wheel, tighten that one, rotate it another 180, you know, back and forth, back and forth. To, and that just it just worked perfectly I mean it, it really was very very straight so that went well that's nothing specific to like the chopper build but uh, in addition to the uh, engine kit I told him a while back you're gonna have to get one of these adapter mounts and I, this is about the cheapest one you can get and he got it and the bolts went through there all right it comes with four bolts you see on the far side there's one and back underneath there there's another one so there's four of those big long ones that go through i'm getting ready to chop those off uh right there where the nuts are on the bottom close to the nuts fairly close but then i added another bolt coming from the bottom there you can see uh, the bottom of the bolt, actually, the top of the bolt. I drilled through the frame, and I just put one in there in the center, going through the frame, going through the mounting bracket, the adapter bracket, and um, just to keep that from rotating to the left and to the right, uh, to help keep that engine more centered. And it's really centered real nice, I think. I think it is. We look down on it, got the handlebars in the way, but see that's, with it being offset, um, that's centered real well, I think. But anyway, that was, uh, that's pretty unique to this chopper OCC style build, and this is like a really long frame, and I think they've got like, even aftermarket uh, forks for this thing. Yeah, you know, there's no springing 
to this at all. It's hardtail, totally hardtail. Um, but anyway, getting back to the muffler, another thing with this, as you'll see here, this clearance is like nothing, man. I mean, it is so close. So close. You can't see. Going around again. It is just very, very close. But uh, anyway, I just had to. Uh, but this engine kit, this muffler, came in black. And it would not clear the uh, pedal. So I had to, uh, I just made a huge fire and out in my fire pit and uh, cooked that thing. Blew a leaf blower on it for a little bit. Got those coals real nice and hot and that thing glowed red and I uh, took it out and I just put some uh, used some scrap wood in certain places and just started kind of like couldn't really bend it couldn't really grab it to bend it so I just kind of set up some blocks and then I hammered in just the right places I had it took about three attempts to get it you can kind of see it didn't kink it real bad enough to like restrict flow but you might be able to see that kink there in the center of the screen maybe a little bit different angle you kind of see how i kinked it just a bit it's really hard to just do a perfect bend on this if you're just you know using force and twisting it without a proper you know pipe bending tool so i think it came out real well and then it was toast it was toasted you know, thing all the black paint was burnt off and it was just it looked nasty I sanded it down real good and then I used this paint oh where is the stuff let me see yeah this right up here this was some really good stuff uh, it's uh, engine what is it duple color or whatever for engine and it says it's up to uh, like 500 degrees it can take and I don't see it peeling or bubbling or anything after having ridden it for about four miles or so um, what else with this thing well I noticed after riding it that uh, I'm probably going to adjust these handles up more um, kind of coming up more this way because I find that when I'm sitting way down low on the seat I'm, I'm having to reach over to try to squeeze so it'll just be much more ergonomic to bring those bring the levers up here to make them easier to grab when you're if you're you know your forearms angled way down low like this you don't have to bring your whole body forward to uh, get over and reach that lever so I'm going to raise these up to make them easier to grab. Um, oh yeah, and then with the uh, the coil down here, <coughs> I just zip tied it around, uh, took the uh, curved inside part and right up against this little cylinder, the forward mount there, and zip tied it on. I'm just going to go ahead and cover up the wires and kind of mask them off a little bit and then just spray paint this whole thing black just to kind of make it blend in to the uh, to the paint of the engine and then I think it'll look pretty cool but um, I was uh, when I was looking for a solution for this tensioner and how to route the uh, chain uh, I contacted Big O on Facebook, and I forget the name of his uh, Facebook page, but he's a pretty cool St. Louis guy, and he builds a lot of these, does a really good job. Uh, Big O is his local name. I don't know his real name, actually. but uh, So he suggested that just leave, this, leave that uh, chain guard off, and just completely leave it off. And uh, I mean, it looks kind of cool the way it is with that chain exposed. Just got to watch your uh, 
your pants, make sure they don't get caught up in there. Uh, another thing with this, the way everything's kind of angled, I had to take a lot of material out of this uh, section. You know, this cover comes off for the clutch mechanism, but uh, on the inside, there's a, there's a lot of metal, uh, that aluminum, that uh, was sticking down here and it was totally pushing the chain down and it was just going to saw away at it. So I just took the material off the engine side of that uh, right down in there. You might be able to see it. If I can get it to focus here, maybe. This is just a, it's a really good camera. Yeah, there it is. So you can see in there where I had to take a lot of the material out and uh, that's good it's not rubbing there at all um, not a whole lot of uh, stud left coming out of that engine mount over there but uh, I'm thinking about taking that off and uh, at least putting uh, some of that red Loctite on there keep things uh, together and I did put some red Loctite stuff on these two. There are only two bolts holding this big, pretty hefty fender on the back. And with the chain, I had to add about, oh, I can't tell you exactly, about four lengths. Uh, I added that on to the chain that came with the kit. And so, you know, it was about four lengths if I'm not mistaken. I think I added three and then I had to add one more. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it was four four lengths and that uh, gave me enough chain to work with here to make it happen. So anyway, I spent a lot of time on this and it was pretty cool. The guy's going to pay me to do this for doing this and uh, it was just uh, really a neat build and first time with the OCC style chopper thing I really like the uh, the arms up kind of thing and the long aspect with the legs kicked out but uh, the thing is with riding this it is absolutely it's really not comfortable at all <laughs> I mean it's not the seat is just not meant for comfort whatsoever and you're really stretching your legs out I mean I'm 5'10 and to pedal this thing just to get it going I suggested I'm gonna suggest to this guy the owner of this that you know you better park on a hill or park on a driveway it's got a steep driveway you know park at the top of it when you shut this thing off because it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier I ended up doing every time that I started this after the first couple times I just rolled it downhill and I did the Flintstone pedal <laughs> with my feet on the ground my butt on the seat feet on the ground and just pedaled on the ground with my feet until I got enough speed and I popped it and the good thing this this thing started right up brand new you know out of the box you know didn't skip a beat used choke a little bit in the beginning and then it didn't want any choke at all you know, it was uh, ready for, uh, you know, choke full open. Um, so, yeah, it's just that stretch. Um, you've got your feet way out there when you're riding on it, and you, you know, your your legs are almost completely extended. And uh, yeah, one's high, one's low, and then you can kind of switch it up. If you get tired of sitting like that, you know, just switch your leg position to your other leg up, up a leg down. But, uh, yeah, riding this thing wasn't a total joy. There's a lot of things I'd probably do to uh, improve this. The position of the gas tank kind of, and that's a thing particular to this build. You know, the uh, gas tank can't really go up in here because um, the handlebar is going to hit it. You know, it just swings down and chop it every time. See how close that the handlebars are to the uh, backbone there. But 
so I had to position it way down here. It's so close, it just kind of looks off if you're used to looking at these things, you know, with that tank being so far back. Uh, there are some that have the uh, tanks, they have two different tanks mounted on each side or a, a modified motorcycle tank kind of mounted over the top here. And uh, then you have to have some kind of like stops here so the handlebars don't go, you know, thrashing around and hit the tank every time. But, um, yep. Uh, so that's kind of funky. What I did with the tank to mount it, it's not actually mounted, you know, those uh, straps aren't go coming from below. I just drilled two holes in this, uh, I call it the backbone, you know, this part of the uh, bike frame. Um, I took and mounted two of those. I'm just now learning how to focus this camera. I'm sorry guys if it's been fuzzy. Um, this is <laughs> for my reference more than anything when I go back and build one of these things again. Just kind of like my cliff notes. So I drilled two holes in the backbone and then I um, used uh, two machine screws to put in the, uh, the mounting brackets. Uh, and you can see the curved parts are toward the backbone. And then uh, just tighten them down and then uh, lower the tank down on top of it and use the uh, use the hardware that came with the kit Let's see if I can go and focus on this oh my gosh okay I reversed it sorry if you don't want to see me so the, the handlebar swung around and knocked the phone almost out of my hand and I it reversed the uh, the lens or whatever you call it so anyway yeah just put the hardware on there that came with the kit and whammo it was on there and I totally eyeballed trying to line up those uh, mounting screws just right so you be the judge is that on there straight the tank to the frame and it's pretty close. A little, a little bit to the left. So, anyways, hey, there it goes again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, hope that helps you guys out if anybody's looking to build one of these things. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, not a whole lot of fun to ride, though. Unfortunately, I hate to say. They look very cool, but man so if I had to put a, a different if I had to put my twist on this I'd get a super freaking comfortable seat because my ass is getting old <laughs> and this sporty stuff ain't comfortable at all I, even if you're young you know this is just not going to be comfortable right it's my opinion but uh, I have seen some of these modified where they just weld foot pegs coming out of here back a little bit maybe and uh, you know you got a four stroke motor on there that it's just a pull start or you, you can even make it electric start maybe um, and just you know do that you know centrifugal clutch kind of thing I guess put, put a cool uh, pipe on there uh, give it a good sound the four strokes I th think sound a heck of a lot better on bikes you know motorcycles bikes that look like this uh, kind of classic stuff get that uh, you know thumpity thump sound but anyways 